Hi, my name is Dave Barclay, and today I'm presenting my art connections between Reading Dove's poetry, Avatar, and Bob Dylan's song Blowing in the Wind. Rita Dove is a poet born in Acorn, Ohio, and saw the rise and peak of the civil rights movement. Being an African American, Dove would have suffered some prosecution from being it. These experiences from persecution affected her writings later. Poems that she wrote that show these signs of influence are Antifather, Parsley, and Dusting, all from her book, Museum. Rita Dove's experiences with hegemony and persecution affected her poetry later in life, as seen through the book, Museum. Now, you may be wondering, how does Avatar and Blowing in the Wind fit into all this? Well, first things first, let's go to the new 2000 movie, Avatar. Now, James Cameron's blockbuster Avatar has gotten some pretty good reviews for his CGI and special effects, which are without a doubt awesome. But we can also look into the plot of Avatar to see some hegemonic themes in the movie itself. Warning, there probably is a spoiler alert somewhere. As we immerse ourselves into the movie, we watch a disabled marine try to reason with the native Navi to get them off to get them off their sacred land. The reason for this is because a huge corporation wants to mine a huge field of unemptadium that is underneath the sacred tree and ground. The movie comes to a climactic end with a huge battle between the native Navi and the huge army of the corporation. Now, obviously the Navi win, or the movie would have tanked, but there's an obvious underlying theme to the whole film. Before the climax again, we watch the Navi first get pummeled by the corporation's armies, and watch as they are slowly taken over by the foreign company. This theme of hegemony is seen in the movie Avatar, and is also seen in Reedy Dove's poems as stated above. These themes of subjugation are clear and simple, and tell us a compelling story why we have to guard against such a society. As Dove said in an interview with Judith Kitchen and Stan Sanville Rubin, we aren't that far from a hegemonic society ourselves. Next, we look at Bob Dylan's song, Blowing in the Wind. Now, like Dove, he wrote his song in sort of protest against what was happening to the African Americans and supported the Civil Rights Movement. The song talks about the unfairness being done and asks how long it will be until, justice, in, until the injustice is finished. This theme of hegemony is prominent in Bob Dylan's song and also songs and is also prevalent in Rita Dove's poetry. Both were affected by the Civil Rights Movement and both saw what resulted, both good and bad. The effects on their works were similar and the fact that and that and that fact even teaches us something. It shows us that this theme and story was prevalent in our history and that we must learn from it. These similarities between Blowing in the Wind, Rita Dove's poems, and Avatar show that we must guard against such an injustice being done. Therefore, the connection between both Reed Dove's poetry and the art connection is that they have themes of hegemony. Thank you.